I'm going to show two traditional moves that is applied in actual combat. Okay, so the first technique will be the Kim Chiu. Kim, Kim, raise up, down. Okay, so this is the technique. The full, the full combinations will be Kim, Zing. Zing is a Hokkien for punch. Okay, so Kim, Zing, Kim, Zing. So Kim, Kim, Zing. Okay, so again, okay, to do it together, do it together, drop, Second technique will be Kim. Okay, Kim, Down. So how do we use it? It's the same thing. This way. Kim. Down. Drop the guy. Okay. So these are the two techniques from Tai Chi Kung that can be applied in actual combat. Tai Chi Kung is born out of combat. First, it started out from the, the emperor's soldiers and then uh, the royalty that trains it and then finally uh, it reached the villages where villagers use this martial art to defend themselves from bandits, from pirates and from other villagers as well. For 1,000 years, it's been going on like this uh, for combat. Right now, in our current days, uh, we are no longer in an age that we have to fight every single day to defend ourselves with our fists, uh, with weapons right, uh, in close combat. But the most important and what keeps us relevant in today's society is the self-discipline and the, the mental training that we have from doing this martial art. Okay, Tai Chi Kung is a martial art that has been around for a thousand years since the first emperor of Song Dynasty, Zhao Kuan Ying. Over the 1,000 years, different masters, they add on their knowledge and experience into the martial art. And then when it reach our generation, um, we are kind of facing a decline. What I wanted to do now will be to return Tai Chi Kung back to tradition. By tradition, I do not mean like uh, unchanging, you know, date. I mean a tradition that is alive. We start out from combat. I want to bring that back, you know. We want to be practical, we want to be useful uh, based on the experiences of our ancestors. If we look at our forms, right, very small details shows the combat effectiveness of the martial art. But the sad thing is that a lot of people who train in Tai Chi Kung actually do not follow it. When they look at the form, they think that it's useless. But when you look at the form, it's actually a collection of uh, the wisdom from a thousand years, maybe. Tai Chi Kung is made out of uh, five calls. Okay, so the first will be your Kipun. Kipun is your basics. Okay, how you punch, how you kick. It's just like basics, normal punches, different techniques. And then second will be your conditioning, your con fitness and conditioning. So we go for like uh, strengthening of your limbs. We go for your, your strength training. So this is very important in martial arts. And then the third, then we go into the forms, we call Kunto. Kunto will be like uh, the set forms that we see, that we, most of us did, like martial arts, like Kata, like Punse. Okay, so we call it Kunto in our forms. For this Kunto to be useful, you need the fourth, which is Tui Lian. Tui Lian is when you break up the, the forms, the techniques, and then we train it this way. And finally, and which is the most important, is the self-cultivation. So this is Yang Sen, right? So this is how do you cultivate your Qi, how do your health and your personal character development. So these five calls form into Tai Chi Kun. We do not train everything in once. You start off from the basics, you move on and the, uh, to the advance and then move on to the forms and then you do move on to like the changing stuff. So you must have the determination to keep going on and on and on.